Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I have a free people clothing haul. I ordered a few bits the other day and they've pretty much all arrived apart from one pair of sunglasses. So I thought I would do this haul in a bit of a different style to my usual sit down hauls. I just really didn't want to just sit and hold up pieces of clothing. I wanted to try them on and properly style them up because personally the try on bit is my favorite part of the video. Um, so I thought, why not? do it as the whole video. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I've got the first dress on already so I'm going to pop you on the tripod and show you how I style it. As always all the items will be listed in the description bar below and while you're down there if you want to subscribe that would be amazing and turn on my little notification bell so you will be notified when I post a new video. So this is the first item I picked up. I've seen this on so many people on Instagram and it just looks amazing on everyone. And I just wanted to show you how I tied it quickly because I tied it differently to how everyone seems to be tying it. Um, and this is what made me like the dress more than I did originally. Because when I first tried it on I was a bit worried because the straps go around your bust, um, which for me is quite a large area compared to my waist and my hips. <laughs> so instead of taking it around the back and tying it, I just crossed it around the front and tied it at the back. And it looks super cute that way. And it just sort of helps accentuate the waist a bit more. Um, so there we go. That's so much better. Because I was going to send this dress back um, and now I think I'm going to... I'll probably send this one back and get the size up. Um, this is an extra small and it fits really well around the bust and everything like that But the only thing is that slightly Worries me. Is it's got these really tight seams here when I like bring my arms forward um, So I feel like if I size up hopefully that will be a bit better, but the sleeves are so cute They have little elastic detailing in them and the print is just Stunning so that's the bottom part of the skirt it's got buttons all the way down the front and then it's got this little slit here which isn't too high up. It also has pockets, which is amazing. Ta-da! I love a good pocket. And then I've just paired it with these boots that I got ages ago in Stradivarius. And I'm not sure if they still do them, but if they do, I will link them or I'll find something similar. And then I would probably wear it with this bag from Zara, which I picked up recently, which is a suede bag. This is actually a really good price for a suede bag. Um, and it's very Chloe-esque, I thought. So I'm very happy with this bag. I've literally worn it out every time I've been out. And I also styled it with this lack of colour hat. I think this is called the Tri Benson style in beige. And I love that it's got this little bit of velvet around the brim. I just think it looks so pretty. And I got this in my usual lack of colour size, which is a small, but this does seem very small for their sizing so if you're interested in this hat I would go up a size and you can always get hat filler whereas I'm gonna have to try and find a hat stretcher for this hat and if you are like me whose temperature gauge is so inaccurate <laughs> and is always cold and then as soon as it's sunny it's way too hot um, then I've been loving this jumper from Cezanne recently this cardigan was very kindly sent to me um, not by Suzanne actually, it was in a PR package. So usually it just looks very boxy, but I like to just take it up and twist it at the front, maybe twice, and then it's sort of like a cropped cardigan. So yeah, I love this for just chucking on. It's also a colour I wouldn't really necessarily go for, but it actually goes with so many of my dresses. And I think this is going to work really well for the summer because it's so hard to know what jumpers to wear with dresses, I find. So, yeah, thumbs up for all of this stuff. Anyway, this dress comes in black, white, and this sage green, which I love. I'm not wearing a bra with this one because it's got an open back. And I was a bit worried because I do like to wear bras with most of my dresses. Um, but I do feel like this one is supportive enough not to wear one. The neckline and the bodice is definitely my favourite part of this dress. So this is what the bottom of the dress looks like. It just goes straight out and then it's got these panels with lace and the fabric going the other way. Um, 
So yeah, it's a really beautiful dress and it's such a nice, really thick cotton. And you could probably wear like a green stripy top under this maybe for winter um, and really layer it up. So styling wise, I've got the same boots on from last time and I picked out this leather All Saints jacket, which I've had for quite a while. I picked this up in Vista Village and it's got all these tassels all the way around it and I just love how much of a sort of boyfriend style fit it is. Like it's quite a masculine cut. And you could maybe style it with some longer necklaces. I don't really have any super long necklaces. And then I'd match it with an old suede bag I also have. Um, yeah, that would be my outfit for this styling up this dress. Going back to what I was saying about trying to find knitwear to go with dresses, I think I've just always gone for jackets instead because I quite like the sort of contrast of a more masculine cut mixed with a really girly dress. So yeah, that's the second dress and I think that's all of the dresses from this haul. Um, so I'm going to move on to tops and other bits and bobs now. Okay, the next item is this amazing top. This definitely didn't look quite as orange online as it does in real life, which is difficult for me because of my orange hat. <laughs> I don't tend to ever buy this sort of colour for myself because I don't think it really goes with my hair colour that much. But I don't think it looks too bad. And I just loved the really interesting details and construction of this top. It's got these elasticated straps here and then it's got this sort of gathered ruching detail across the front and it ties at one side, not the other side. And then there's gathering at the back again. And so I've paired that with these high-waisted trousers from And Other Stories, which they might still do. I got them um, in January, I think, but they're really lovely. Like, just so many nice little details. They're such a nice, thick fabric. So yeah, that's what I've styled the top with. And then shoes-wise, I've gone for a little brown heeled boot and my Chloe bag. I feel like this top would be super easy to style up with anything, to be honest. I just matched it with these trousers because I thought it went with the sort of raw, natural ties that it's got at the side, which I just thought were really sweet. If I were to wear this out, I'd probably have like a big chunky cable knit jumper over the top. Um, so there's no point showing you guys that because then there's nothing from free people that you can see. It also came in quite a few different colours. I can't quite remember what colours. Um, but yeah, I really love this. And again, I think I got it in extra small. I've got the next top on and I do really like this top but I'm just not sure if I'd be brave enough to wear it out. So sadly I don't think I'm going to keep this top but I just love the way it looks and I love the construction of it. I might actually make something a little bit similar with this sort of crisscross. Some of my previous dresses have had like crisscross Thing on the front and I always think it's so flattering. So yeah, I styled this one with, I've had these on the whole time, but they're more obvious now because my hair's up. Um, these earrings are from Monica Vinader and they are completely worth the investment, I would say. I've worn them, I wear them pretty much in every video. They've got a really nice texture to the hoop and it goes all the way around and clips down so you don't have like a stud fixing. Then I've styled the top with my Chloe bag and these jeans which are from Anthropology, and then these Converse which are in like a plum colour. Yeah, this is what it looks like as an outfit. I think it's so cute. It's kind of got a little bit of a oriental vibe to it, I feel. <laughs> I would have the confidence to wear this out, but I just know the British weather and it's always a bit windy. And these bits will just flap up and they will show too much. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have to send this back, um, but I might try and make something similar myself and see how that goes. Next up is a denim jumpsuit, which I really wanted to love, but it arrived and I really am not a fan of the bottom part of the flares. <laughs> we all know how obsessed I am with flares, but even these are too flared for me. <laughs> I also got the sizing wrong for this one. I picked this up in a small, thinking that it might be okay but it feels pretty baggy and because it's such a stretchy fabric it would look so much better actually tight fitting to the body so it's not really very well fitted let me just show you the trousers this is the bit that puts me off um i love good flare but this just seems like 
Donna and a Dynamo kind of <laughs> Mamma Mia too much. If they were like that, it would be so much more flattering and just wearable. But that's just... <laughs> I don't know, I just find it quite funny. But anyway, I thought I might as well show you how I would style this. So I think for something as extra as this, I would actually wear my very extra patchwork quilted coat, which you can watch me make this jacket if you fancy on my channel. Yeah, that's what I would wear this with. And with my clothes bag again. I've got on those dark brown boots again. Um, yeah, that is how I would wear this outfit if I were to keep it. Next up is this oversized pink jumper. This is quite expensive, so I don't think I'm gonna keep it because I'm not blown away by it. But it does have a really nice baggy fit. It's in this sort of cotton rib fabric. I've just started with this little pink headband from Zara and then some blue jeans and the same Stradivarius boots. But as I said, don't think I'm going to keep it. And also looking in the camera now, it looks very similar to my skin tone. And the final item is this pair of dungarees. And I really didn't want to like these, but I really love them. I really love the colour, it's so sort of unique. It's sort of like a purpley, beigey, brown, <laughs> kind of hard to describe, but I've just started up with this alpaca blend jumper from H&M. And then down below I am wearing some white trainers from Pull and Bear. And I might actually go and buy some more of these because I really love the shape of them. They're just super simple. They look good with dresses. This is what the back of the dungarees look like. I really like how it's quite thick all the way up. They're just such a good pair of dungarees and they are actually really reasonable for dungarees. I feel like wherever you get dungarees from now they are so expensive. Um, I think these were about 80 or 90 pounds which is a lot but if you look on ASOS they're mostly around that price as well and when they're a really good pair I feel like it's worth paying that little bit more just to get something that you know will look really good and that you're not going to just leave in your wardrobe and never wear. So I would also probably wear my hat with this outfit to be honest. Full country bumpkin look. <laughs> and then I'm not really sure which bag I would wear with this outfit. I probably wouldn't wear one and I'd just put my phone, oh it's got a popper in the pocket, so that's handy, on both sides. So see you've got both these pockets and you've got pockets in the front which are nice and deep. And you've got pockets in the back. So you don't really need a bag with this outfit because you can just pop everything in your pockets. So there we have it. Those are all of the new items I picked up from Free People. Let me know which ones are your favourite in the comments down below and help me to choose which ones to keep. Also, I'd love to know if you guys prefer this style of haul where I just try things on and chat whilst I'm trying them on. I think I actually much prefer this to properly sitting down and just having a formal camera. So yeah. I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!